Given x equals 4 tangent theta, we write square root of 16 plus x squared in terms of theta where theta is in the first quadrant. Since the square root of 16 plus x squared needs an x squared, we're going to take this x and we're going to square both sides to get x squared equals 16 tangent squared theta. Then from the square root of 16 plus x squared, we're going to substitute that x squared. And then from here, we'll factor out the 16. So we have square root of 16 times the quantity 1 plus tangent squared theta. By using the Pythagorean of identity, 1 plus tangent squared theta is really just secant squared theta. So we'll substitute that in. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of secant squared theta is absolute value of secant of theta. However, since theta is in quadrant 1, then secant theta is always positive, meaning the absolute value is pointless. So secant, the absolute value of secant theta is just secant of theta. So this narrows down to 4 secant of theta. This is one way to solve. Another way to solve is that we'll take a look at this x equals 4 tangent of theta. Divide both sides by 4. Recall that tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. So draw on the right triangle, opposite x, the adjacent 4. By using Pythagorean theorem, we'll get the hypotenuse to be the square root of 16 plus x squared. Hey, look, that's what we want. Yeah. So what trick relates square root of 16 plus x squared? Well, it's the opposite. It's the hypotenuse side. Let's try not to use the x and use the 4. So we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. And we want it to be in the numerator, so we'll use secant of theta, which is equal to square root of 16 plus x squared over 4. Multiply both sides by 4, we get 4 secant of theta. Here's another way of solve. So sorry for more math content. Thank you.